now we're gonna use something called expand. We're gonna do something called expanding law. Uh, oh. Now we're gonna do something called contracting logs. We have three logs here, log x plus log y minus one half log of x plus y, and I want to contract that into just one log if possible. So here's what I'm going to do. First of all, the one half here, that could become an exponent, which I'm taking x plus y to the one half power, but that's the same thing as the square root of x plus y. So log x plus log y minus log of squared x plus y, that becomes log of x, y divided by square root of x plus y, because when I add these two logs, I'm multiplying them. When I subtract this log, I'm dividing it, and this is sort of the log rules backwards, and this is an example of contracting logarithms. Let's do another example of condensing logarithms. By the way, I said contracting before. Sometimes I say condensing, contracting, same thing. You're making it smaller. You're having a bunch of logs. You want to you want to get them into one log. So the things which are added get multiplied, the things which are multiplied, subtract to get divided, but first I have to deal with the coefficients and turn them all into exponents, and we get this. Now I just have to multiply the adding things and divide the subtracting things, and we get our final answer. And that is the log of a cubed b squared over square root of c d to the seventh. And this is an example of condensing logs. The next thing we're going to do is expand logs. So we have the log of this giant quotient x to the 15th times y to the 13th over z to the 19th times the fifth root of w. Now that's going to be equal to, just by expanding simply, the log of x to the 15th plus the log of y to the 13th minus the log of z to the 19th minus the log of w to the 1 -fifth. Now where did that 1 -fifth come from? Because the fifth root of w is the same thing as w to the 1 -fifth. Now all I got to do is, this my, again, that's my original problem, now all I got to do is to... Uh, turn the exponents into coefficients, and that's look at each split like this. So, th so the x to the fifteenth becomes fifteen log x. The y to the thirteenth becomes thirteen log y minus nineteen log z minus one fifth log w. So that's my final answer: uh, fifteen log x plus thirteen log y minus nineteen log z minus one fifth log w. And that's the that's equal to the original uh, log of this giant fraction: x to the fifteenth, y to the thirteenth, z to the nineteenth, fifth root of w. Let's say we want to expand this guy over here. Well, before I do any expanding, I want to rewrite this. See, because x, I could rewrite this whole thing as follows. You see, the cube root here is really a third power. So this is really x to the two-thirds, y to the five-thirds. I could change that. But now, once I have that, I can combine these two x's and those two y's and, and combine it even further. Two plus two-thirds is eight-thirds, and three plus five-thirds is fourteen-thirds, and now... Now I'm finally going to do the problem of expanding the logarithm, and I get my final answer, 8 thirds log x plus 14 thirds log y, and that is what this original sucker is equal to. Uh, this is equal to that through the magic of this step, and that step, and that step. Yay!